welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica J. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, hello, how are you? If you guys watched my last video when I went Christmas shopping, I kind of just picked up little random stuff because I really wasn't sure what direction I wanted to go into as far as decorating for the holidays. Now, I have a clear direction. I wanna keep it modern, I wanna keep it sleek, but I do have kids and to be honest with you, I really can't blame this on the kids because I like a little fun, a little splash of fun here and there. So I wanna keep it modern, simple, but I also want to bring in that whimsical or playful side of Christmas here. So that's my vision. Simple, modern, classy, with a little splash of fun. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go shopping for some aesthetically pleasing, Christmas decor, so I'm excited to show you guys that. And also, this is my first Christmas. Ooh, come on here a little bit. This is our first Christmas where we're really gonna stay home and enjoy a meal together. So I wanna put together a nice little tablescape, a nice little table moment, and I'm really excited about that. Who knew how excited it would be to buy plates, spoons, knives, and all that jazz? But anyways, um, so we're gonna look at some table setups. So we're gonna go to West Elm. They had some really amazing tablescapes and amazing table setups in their store, so we're gonna look at that. So yeah, so we're gonna go to West Elm. We're gonna go to Target. We're gonna go to Home Goods, of course, you guys. We can't, we can't go shopping and not go to Home Goods, and that's it. That's where I'm gonna take you guys, and then after, I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. So if you guys are excited to go shopping, see what's out there, give this video a thumbs up, and let's go. So our first stop is West Elm, and right when I walked through the door, they had their bedding set up, and look how gorgeous it is. I just had to stop and look. The textures, the colors, everything was just so beautiful. So with the holidays, entertaining comes along with that. And I really want to check out their tablescapes and how they set up their tables. I really love the gold flatware. This table setup was a little bit more casual, a little bit more simple, but still beautiful. I really wanna have a bar moment for the holidays, so I was looking at their decanters, and these will actually make a really good gift for the holidays as well. You guys know I am a fan for wood tones and gold, so this was just like, huh heaven to me. But I really wanted to show these items just in case you needed some barware for the holidays, and also these will make really great gifts. Here's another great option for the holidays. I really love the magnolia leaf garland down the middle of the table with the candles. Very romantic, very festive, and I really love the colors that they used here. Next up is, of course, Home Goods. Here they have their stockings, four in a pack, and I think I show the price. Super affordable, I know that for sure. They had a lot of really nice Christmas decor here at this Home Goods. A lot of neutral items, so if you're not into color or your theme is maybe a winter wonderland or you wanna keep things white, they had a lot of options at Home Goods this shopping trip. Home Goods has been having a lot of entertaining accessories, so don't skip out if you need barware, wine glasses, cocktail glasses. They've been having a lot of great stuff lately.
Now, I've been seeing this cookbook every time I go to Home Goods lately. So, if you know someone who is a fan of hers or needs a cookbook, these will make a really great gift option. And you can pair them with measuring cups, a kitchen towel, so many different options to make your gifts personalized and, you know, make it look like you really spent time and customize your gift for your loved ones. Now, if you're trying to do a hot cocoa bar like me, these would make the perfect option. Okay, and our last stop is Target. Don't forget to look at their dollar section. They have these cute little homes that light up for only five bucks. The Hearth and Hand collection has really nice stockings. I feel like they were the same ones as last year. I don't know, I remember seeing these last year. Um, but yeah, only $15 and I thought it was a black, but it's more of a gray color right there. Now I feel like this wreath is something that you could DIY. It's such a simple wreath and it was $40. So I don't know if you guys like that. I would go to Michael's and try to DIY something like that. Now their stems are really good quality, you guys. I really encourage you to look at their stems and they have some mistletoe here too. I love these hurricanes here. These are a dupe of some I've been seeing at Crate and Barrel. I don't remember how much they cost at Crate and Barrel, but you guys know Target's always gonna be more affordable. Okay, we're back. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I got. I can't wait to do a decorate with me. I'm gonna do a few DIY projects and I'll show you what I got and what I plan to do with it. Because sometimes you find like the perfect shape with the perfect price and this just the color might not be right. Don't underestimate a can of spray paint, you guys. Let me show you guys what I got. Let me stop rambling so much. So I'll show you guys what I got from a store that I did not record in. These are from Hobby Lobby and I kind of just went really quickly in there and I found these little sleek, aesthetically pleasing trees. Now, the color right now, I think the color, you know, it's not bad. I'm not sure what color yet. I think they're gonna be white. Maybe one will be a brass color. I got the largest size that I saw and then I got two of these, which I thought one of them was the medium size one. So I have to take one of these back and get the medium size. So I have three of these, but this one was $27.99. This one was $19.99. And I think the medium size one's 24, but all of their holiday decor at um, Hobby Lobby right now is 50% off. So I did not pay full price for these. I did move my sideboard here and yeah, I have a whole plan for that. So yeah, these are gonna go behind me and I think it's gonna look really, really good. So next thing I got from Hobby Lobby is this little tree right here. Let me get closer. It's this little crystal looking tree, but it's really just made out of plastic. It does light up and I was hoping that it would just stay one color, but it kind of goes through a few different colors, which I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. I can put this on at night and that's the kind of splash of fun that I think me and my kids would really like. I love this and the reason why I picked this up was because I actually, so we're gonna move on to Home Goods. I got this from Home Goods. It's kind of like the same thing, but when I bought this, it was already broke and I still wanted it because I feel like it would be perfect to go on my coffee bar or wherever 
this is just so cute. You can put this anywhere and it'll just go. And then you can put a tea light inside of it. I thought I had one here to show you guys, but you can get those little tea lights anywhere. I think I picked mine up from Home Goods. Put that in the bottom and that can light up if you want to do that. All right, next up is Target. I've been loving my little glass straws lately. Make me feel a little bougie. I'm all drinking my sparkling water. <laughs> Okay, so I picked up these little ceramic homes. I don't know what they're called. What are these things called? Just little homes? From Target, these things were $5 each. So this to me brings in that festive, whimsical side of Christmas, but the fact that it's so sleek, it's white, it's matte. I love matte. They both light up. At Target, they have these. They have smaller ones that come two in a pack that are $5 as well. They have black ones that are made of a tin or something. And then they have, I wanna say I saw some concrete looking ones at Hobby Lobby as well. Also from Target, if you guys have like a bud vase or a small vase and you wanna add some holiday greenery to it, I picked up this one right here. This is from the Hearth and Hand line. This was only $2.99. I do remember the price. And they also have a bigger one for, I believe, $5.99. And I love how realistic this looks. So I have a small vase in my kitchen that I'm going to put this in. And then I went to West Elm for their small bud vase. And I was also thinking about putting this in there. I didn't buy it yet because it, they didn't have it in the store. I wasn't sure if I felt like ordering it online. I feel like at this point, I'm kind of waiting for Black Friday to get regular home decor items. So that's why I kind of put a pause on, well, obviously and I'm buying Christmas decor. So next thing I got from Target are these white berry stems. I bought four of them. Okay, I see the fourth one over there. So one, two, three, four. They also have a bigger size. I think these are, so these are 25 inches. I wanna say the bigger one they have is about 42 inches. So huge, and they can go like a floor vase, something like that over there on the floor. So I got the smaller ones. My plan is to put, oh, they're so pretty. Look at that. They're so, pretty but i picked up these they are so nice so festive they really bring in that wintry holiday feeling so i'm gonna put these in i believe that base over there i'm gonna take that pumpkin grass out and it's gonna be like a whole vibe over there and the last thing i can't believe this is the last thing i got the last thing i got which was essential you guys you cannot go through the holiday season without one of these minus my gingerbread man you guys i know it's not a gingerbread man it's a nutcracker I filmed that video at like 10, 11 o'clock at night and it just wasn't the day. I called the Nutcracker a gingerbread man. Some of you guys had called me out about that. But as long as I gave you guys a good laugh, it's all good. <laughs> I picked up this pine garland and I got this one from Marshalls. I wanna say I shared this in a video already. If I didn't, I shared it on my Instagram. But I picked up this one from Marshalls. Look how nice that looks. So my plan is to cut these off. The pine cones, I don't know if I'm gonna keep them on or not, but my plan was to take these off, save them because I might use them another time somewhere else, and then wrap some um, eucalyptus around this. I think I might do that because I have some eucalyptus I'm not using from the Hearth and Hand line. And I think that would just look so good. This was 34, I don't know if I already said it. So these were $34 at Marshalls. I've been seeing this one and the plain one. The plain one I saw was going for $29. So this is a nine foot garland. And I think it looks so good. And the best part about this is that these branches, you can manipulate them, you can bend them, which I love. So I'll be able to really make this look realistic and full. So that is everything. So I do have a question. So my question for you guys, how are you decorating for the holidays? Are you going for like a modern vibe, all white Christmas? Do you like the whimsical, playful side of Christmas? So you're gonna do like pops of red, green, or whatnot? Let me know down in the comment section. As always, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.